Hello and welcome back to the channel. So uh, Oshkosh 2023 closes tomorrow and uh, it looks like a rainstorm just went by. So uh, many people have left. So you wouldn't be seeing the massive crowds like uh, in some of the earlier videos. Also, um, we have many of the uh, participants who have already started leaving. When uh, I looked over there for the, at the helicopters, some of them had already left. So you have very few helicopters left uh, parked here on the field. Uh, we have some of these classics, classic aircraft here. I think this might be a beach craft, I'm not sure. EAA International 1981 flying, 1975. Highly polished. Got the radial engine there with the props, leading and leading edge protection. It's got a skirt. It's a beauty. I don't know if that's a Beechcraft or a Cessna or whatever it is. Here is a Fairchild. It's got wooden props. Interesting arrangement of uh, the engine. You can see the cylinders. And then the exhaust goes around like that and exits. And also here you have the spark plugs. That doesn't look like a very secure way of uh, having it in place. Let's take a closer look. Compared to modern vehicles, etc., that have uh, boots to provide some uh, protection. Here is another radial engine. Polished prop. Exhaust below with the usual oil leaks from uh, the radials. Highly polished wing surface and here we have an air coop fabric wing and I think these early ones also have a wooden spar but it is said that this is one of the easiest aircraft to fly you can see what seems to be like a um, fuel filter wooden prop with leading edge protection and uh, fun fact you could be flying this and you open up uh, the canopy completely so it's like you're in a uh, convertible car and you can see that the controls almost like the steering wheel of a car so you turn left and it banks left and uh, makes a left turn turn right and it banks right and turns right um, this is almost like the reverse you have fabric covered wing but the control surface is uh, metal and this looks like brand new so I think it has been refurbished at some point all right it's quite a few interesting aircraft here um, we'll go across a little bit I see how far the helicopters are there's a few interesting helicopters out there have the replica of the spirit of St. Louis that uh, Charles Lindbergh flew to France I also realized that there are vast areas here that I did not visit uh, during the first three days when I was here we will try to make visits to those areas including where we have the ultralight and uh, other categories of aircraft so the sun is just coming out but just a few minutes ago it looked like it was going to rain like really heavily so you can see the vehicles out there people are leaving and it looks like they shut down everything because of the thunderstorm so we'll just hide here in the shade and take a look at the helicopters there you have a robinson 
R44 There you have, I think that's a McDonnell Douglas, an MD, but I could be wrong, so guys, correct me. Uh, that's used a lot in uh, power line inspections. And then behind you have the uh, helicopter, which is just like the uh, stunt helicopter used by Red Bull. can't remember if it's a former Eurocopter, now Airbus helicopter or whatever it is. But that's for that. So now we are heading to where we can pick, jump on the shuttle. Again, that yellow balloon, that's where people go to party every night. And those yellow school buses, that's what shuttles people around. There isn't much happening here. This is where the helicopters would normally take off and land, giving free rides. That looks like a Lancer over there. Okay, let's take a look at these ones. Uh, this radial engine looks very compact like I don't know how the ventilation is with this one if it stays cool but if you look at the cylinders and the way they are arranged from the crankshaft it, it looks really compact I don't know if this thing actually flies take a look at that I doubt if it flies yeah it looks almost like somebody pulled it out of a hangar for the show I don't know. What do you guys think? Does this thing fly? It looks really clean though. Somebody cleaned it up. We have a generator right there. A RAM generator. That's what uh, would provide electrical power. I don't know if this one has, probably it doesn't have a, an electrical system. So the power comes from there. Ryan aircraft. And here we have another bio, uh, how do you call this, bio wing? Rack covered. Very well built. I don't know if that got broken sometime in the past and they had to weld it. Might have just been easier to replace the whole thing, but maybe it's no longer in production. Now this looks like it flies. You guys can see that somebody has done done a good job on this one and one more here that landing gear configuration looks looks interesting Yep. Looks like a V configuration engine. V8 probably. Something big just landed. Or oh, it's taking off. I don't see anything, but something just took off. You hear the afterburners. That right there looks like a tank. And this is a consolidated PT3. the exhaust and you have uh, interesting steps 
to get to check your fuel and other stuff. Oh, yeah, there it is. Whoa. Wow. Okay, let's try to catch a bus. Aircraft here.